Hi guys, this DIY is a Wonder Woman inspired comic book shoe. I made the body of the shoe using Mod Podge and Wonder Woman comic book pieces. And I paid homage to Wonder Woman by painting the heel gold and the base red. The shoe cost about $15 to make. And I think this is a really great alternative if you don't wanna put on a full costume but you still wanna be festive for Halloween. I also think it's good for a more conservative office. This can be your costume, or you can use the shoe to enhance a costume. So with that said, I am going to take you into how I made this shoe. For this project, I used Mod Podge. I used all Angelus products, so I chose the satin acrylic finisher, which I've never tried, but I thought it would probably be the finish that I wanted. I'm also using some professional um, leather deglazer, and that's to make sure that the paint adheres to the shoe properly. I'm using pearlescent 18 karat gold paint and pearlescent riot red. And then I know that I, I respect the comic community, first of all, and I know that people get upset when people cut up comic books. So I'll just put this here and I'll say that... Um, I use these pieces and we won't look at it as me cutting up a comic book, but rather immortalizing a specific issue. I taped off the part of the shoe that I'm going to paint later. And now I have the comic book pieces that I'm going to attach. I made sure to, let me adjust this a little bit. I made sure that I cut the pieces into small kind of, Ge we'll call them geometrical shapes and then I also made sure to carefully cut out the pieces that I want to add on top so if you have whatever comic book character that you're using make sure that you cut out the pieces that you want to add to the shoe that highlight that character and then the pieces that you're adding you can just cut those however I went to a couple of different Mod Podge sites and they explained that if you don't want the stroke marks on your shoe that you should use a sponge and if you don't mind them that you should use a brush. Because I'm going to be sanding and then buffing the shoe out, I decided to use a brush. So I'm just going to do a couple of pieces you know, with me recording and then I'm gonna turn the camera off and put the rest of the pieces on there. So I'm gonna lay this to the side. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just dab it on the bottom. And then I'm going to just go over it a little bit with the Mod Podge to make sure that it stays on. So really quickly, I just wanted, I'm outside in a well-ventilated area, and I just wanted to give you kind of an update on the shoe. So I've gone around the border and just kind of not really established a pattern, but just tried to get as close to the edge as possible with the um, comic book pieces. So now I'm gonna go back over it um, and just fill out any of the little areas that I missed. And then I'm going to um, let it dry for a little bit and then add the larger pieces. I've completed the first part of adding the comic book pieces. Now I'm gonna do the larger overlays of Wonder Woman onto the shoe and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've added the Wonder Woman larger pieces that I wanted on the shoe and I'm gonna apply five coats of Mod Podge according to the directions and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm going to sand it down and apply more coats according to how I like the finish. So this is what my shoe looks like after the Mod Podge has dried. I really liked the gloss on it, so I didn't do a lot of polishing and a lot of sanding. I just kind of left it how it is. 
I'm gonna remove the tape and then we'll get started with preparing the rest of the shoe for paint. So I checked the website and for leather, you just need to deglaze it, you don't need to sand it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it on this cotton pad. And then I'm just gonna carefully go over the shoe and I'm supposed to go over the shoe so that it'll clean it and deglaze and then let it dry completely and then the leather will adhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll come right back. And I do wanna warn everyone that wears nail polish that this has acetone in it so it will mess up your manicure if you're not careful. So the shoe has completely dried. Um, the second part of painting a shoe, and I think one of the most important parts, is making sure that you tape off the portions of the shoe that you don't want painted. So my next step is to apply a white base coat to this back portion because that's where I'm going to be applying the 18 karat gold paint. And then I'm going to just leave this one as it is because I'm going to be applying the red so I'm going to apply the base coat and the red paint and I'll be right back this is what the shoe looks like after three base coats on the heel and as you can see it's really coming along nicely it was a really easy surface to paint on so I am going to stop with the base coats I'm gonna let this part dry and then my next step is to add the 18 karat gold paint to the heel. And then for the bottom of the shoe, I'm going to add the pearlescent riot red. This is the final result after the shoe has dried and I am going to apply the satin acrylic finisher and this is the result after the satin finisher. The finisher is more to seal in the paint, but it really added a nice shine that I feel matches up with the Mod Podge. This is what the shoe looked like before. And it was really a cute shoe beforehand, I must say. This is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back and visit soon.